Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today of course we're going to be recapping Taylor Swift's Eras shows in New Orleans that happened this past weekend. All of the surprise songs, the fun little things that happened during the show, all the things. Um, let's just jump right in with the surprise songs and discuss each of the nights. So starting off night one, we have a mashup of our song and call it what you want. And the second song is the black dog and haunted. This is a supreme night of surprise songs. I, so I think people know that I'm going to the Eras tour this weekend and I was sort of hoping that I would get our song. Um, because I don't know, there's, I just, I think I talked about this in previous episodes that I, I really wish she did a debut section of the tour. I just wish she at least did one song permanently in the tour that was from debut because I just, it's just missing from the whole era's experience. And I love that album and I wish we got to hear a song from it. So um, I was kind of hoping that on my night, I'd get a song from debut. Um, specifically our song, but love that New Orleans got it and it's a great choice. And then the Black Dog and Haunted, I wouldn't have put those two songs together, but I really like them together and um, I think it's a great choice. So very, very solid night for surprise songs. But then night two, Taylor Swift, she had a surprise up her sleeve and she calls, calls, well she did call her, but I think it was planned, called Sabrina Carpenter on on the phone on stage and was like, hey, do you want to come out for the surprise songs? Do you want to perform with me? And sure enough, there was little Sabrina Carpenter and they performed a mashup of Espresso, Is It Over Now? And Please, Please, Please. I mean, if you were there on night two, New Orleans, you are so lucky. That is amazing. I would have loved to have heard those songs. Um, and so fun to have Sabrina come out and perform. Like, that's just amazing. So love that. And then she did, she did a mashup of Hits Different and Welcome to New York. I love Hits Different. I love that song so much. I know it's a bonus track. I think it was like a Target exclusive bonus track from Midnight's, but I really, really like that song a lot. It's like one of my favorites on the album. So I would have been, been a big fan to hear that, or that would have been cool to hear. And then Welcome to New York. It's not everyone's favorite, but it's a classic. So again, another extremely solid night for surprise songs. And then the last night she did a mashup of Afterglow and Dress. Perfect. Those two songs, they work well together. Perfect. And then she did a mashup of How You Get the Girl and Clean. Clean is another song that I would love to have heard as a, as a surprise song. That's that's one that I'm I really feel would be really cool to have. So honestly, all three of these nights are very strong. And I, I'm i trying to decide which one I would want the most. I think from just a like surprise song point of view, I would prefer night one, but the Sabrina Carpenter of it all makes me maybe wanna pick night two. I don't know, if you went to a show in New Orleans, no matter what night you went, you got good surprise songs. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to um, a show this weekend in Indianapolis and so I'm kind of already thinking like what songs would I want to hear? So in terms of what I would want to hear just from my own personal songs that I love, I would love her to perform Treacherous. That's one of my absolute favorite songs. I would love her to perform The Way I Loved You. I love that song. Um, I feel like one of the nights she's going to play or perform Mad Woman. I'm putting that out there. That is one of my predictions. I think she will perform Mad Woman. I don't have a feeling about any other songs that she might perform, but I, I, I feel Mad Woman is a potential. Um, but yeah, I would be happy. I just, for me personally, I hope that she does an, an, an array of different albums. Like I, I hope we get, because I know she's probably going to do two different mashups. I hope all the songs are from different eras. Um, because I just, I've been a Taylor Swift fan for so long that I just want to hear um, her through the ages, you know? So anyway, I cannot wait for that. And next week when we get back, I will recap my experience being at the Eras tour and what that's like, and obviously talk about all the other nights and the surprise songs and everything. Um, I also wanted to just quickly mention Taylor's little nods to Travis Kelsey during the shows this weekend. So we, we already know she does the Karma's the Guy on the Chiefs. She 
does the little arrow pose before So High School, which is Travis Kelsey's pose when he runs out of the t of the tunnel, all that stuff. Um, but she added another thing this week. Now, some people feel like it's because, so the Super Bowl this year is going to be in New Orleans. And so people felt like maybe Taylor was doing that, doing this just because she was performing in New Orleans as kind of like maybe a manifestation for Travis or something. But during Midnight Rain, when she sings, and he, he never thinks of me except for when I'm on TV, and she typically does like a face, like a silly face. The first night she threw a football like she was Patrick Mahomes. The second night she did the touchdown signal. And then the third night she did Travis Kelsey's signature like first down pose. And then she kissed her fingers and hold, held up the, the number three, which obviously three Chiefs going for the three-peat which was just fun. It was fun, it, it was cute. And who would have ever thought, even just a couple years ago, that Taylor Swift would be doing football gestures on stage. She probably was like, who am I? Who have I become? Um, no, it looked so much fun. I'm so happy for everyone that got to go. And we are just, I mean, this weekend, upcoming weekend is the last set of shows in the US. And then she's off to Canada and then the tour is done, which is crazy. Um, I, I, I just, I can't believe it's gone by. It feels like it's been forever and also it's gone by so fast. So can't wait to recap it all. Um, luckily for Taylor as well, the Chiefs play on Monday night, not Sunday night in Kansas City. So I do think there's a good likelihood that Taylor Swift will be on a plane following her show on Sunday night, going to Kansas City and that she will be in KC on Monday night for the football game. So Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we will recap the Ares tour will recap Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game if she does go, all the stuff. Um, as always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure to do so. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.